Hey guys, Pathogaming Gaming right here, right now, bringing you the second video of a 10 video series on fundamentals. In this video, we'll talk about the mid game. So basically how to play stage three. So if you had a win streak on stage two, you should continue trying to win and you should be pushing tempo. If you had a loss streak on stage two, you need to work on stopping the bleeding and making sure you stabilize for the mid game so that you can pop off in the late game. And we shall discuss some reroll comp specifics because those are important for stage three. So basically there's three options on stage three one. You're either level four and you're level four because you're playing a reroll comp. So you're going to roll on level four or you're level five, which is the most common option. So you're going to chill. You're not going to level. You're not going to roll. Or you want to level to six to continue your win streak. Or possibly you're already level six because you leveled on stage two, six to keep your win streak. Now, <coughs> if you are playing a reroll comp, here are the two most common reroll comps right now. You're either playing Twitch reroll or as you are reroll, those are kind of two. And uh, the third one is brand. So let's go for, for all three. So the Twitch reroll board looks something like this when you have four units. You want Ezreal, Twitch, Singe, and Zillion to get you at least Innovator, and then you have the Twitch. Uh, you can play you can play Echo if you have Echo over Zillion, it's way better. Um, you can kind of mix and match these units, but I wanted to show you the full board on level eight so that you know what you're looking for later. The important thing to note is that you want to get uh, almost perfect items on your Twitch. Ezreal can use similar items and you want to get some decent items on Echo. Because reroll comps are not that powerful unless you have perfect items, since three star one costs definitely fall off in the late game. Now, how do you play this? Um, you're going to be level four on three one and you should definitely have over 50 gold or around 50 gold and what you should do is if you have five or more copies of of twitch or Azrael, if you're playing the Ezreal variant you don't have to play you don't have to play twitch you you play Ezreal, saint zillion like you play similar units you just take, take out the twitch and you play uh something stronger if you're playing the Ezreal variant but you're also Got to be rerolling for a lot of one costs. So the thing is, if you have five or more copies, you want to kind of roll down and try to hit your three star carry. It's a risky, it's a risky maneuver, risky play. But if you do hit and if you have five or more and around 50 gold, you are likely to hit. Then you'll stabilize super hard on stage three, one uh, on stage three because you'll be super strong on 3-1. And uh, what you should do afterwards is just uh, save up gold and slowly level to add in the additional units. And the same thing the same thing applies to brand. You're probably going to play brand with, uh, I guess, Arcanists, if you have Arcanists. Uh, possibly you're going to have Debonairs, depends what you hit. And you're re-rolling to find that three-star brand. You can also try a three-star Kassadin. The thing about this, why I don't think it's that amazing, is because there aren't that many other one costs you want to play along brand. Like, you can play Ziggs alongside brand for Arcanist, but I just don't think it's it's uh, worth it because it's just a trash unit. So this is probably your best uh, one cost for all comp, but I still think it's not that amazing. So, yeah, you can go for Twitch. If you have a lot of Twitches, if you have... Uh, Decent setup, like if you have two gloves two and two swords or two gloves and no, not two swords, uh, two bows. Um, like one of these could possibly be a death blade, but you really want to have ideally these items because Twitch can really pop up these items. The alternative is going for two star, two costs, and then three star, three cost as your reroll strategy. Uh, now, this is a bit more common. I think Warwick is in a, in a uh, relatively good spot while. Talon, Corky, Ash, Syndra are somewhat playable. Corky might be playable now that he got bug fix. He's uh, on the rise, a little bit better. But these comps are still not amazing apart from Warwick. Uh, I didn't want to like show the, the whole comp. But basically the concept is 
on stage three, uh, you should try to preserve gold as much as you can. So maybe you even hold off on leveling on uh, three two and you level on three five. Uh, ideally, if you're playing one of these rural comps, you do have your two star two cost already. And then you just stay above 50 gold and you re-roll, like you roll your gold down to 50 and you try to three star whatever carry you're playing. If you have six or more copies, you can send it. It is risky, but if you hit, like if you hit a uh, three star Warwick on stage three, you're going to dominate stage three, possibly stage four, and you can just chill. So those are, those are your reroll comps. And I just wanted to get that out there because it's a different strategy. And back to like normal strategy. So if you're win streaking, or if you had a win streak earlier on stage two, then on stage three, you want to push tempo, which means you could probably level on three one. If you're at hundred HP, if you're on a full win streak, uh, sorry, not hundred HP, like yes, there are arguments that give you extra HP. If you're on a full win streak, then you should probably level on three one if you have anything decent to add. And maybe you can, you can roll a little bit to to get a bit of a spike. Uh, the standard level is on 3-2. You definitely have on 3-2. And you kind of want to roll a little bit. And it, this, this goes for loss streaking earlier as well as win streaking. Uh, I think a stable board on 3-2 is if half your board is 2-star. That's definitely optimal. And you want to itemize your 2-star. So like ideally you have your 2-star carry and you have your 2-star tank. And then if you're, if you're win streaking still... Um, you should level to a seven after the carousel one three five, and just uh, maybe roll a little bit, maybe add another unit. You're just pushing tempo and making sure you're super strong. And I mean, this this just plays out a bit later into the late game. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that uh, you convert all that early and mid game strength into a pretty substantial lead. And then what happens on stage four? You you kind of fall off, and then you have your HP to fall back on. And then on stage five, you can you can level up and really power up and destroy the lobby. If you're last streaking, it's a different story. So the whole aim, if you're last streaking, is to stop the bleeding. So you should almost always level to six on three two to stabilize. There are some variants, like some other options, but typically it's level six three two, and you roll down to stabilize. As I mentioned, you want to find some two stars. You can pu push it off a little bit and uh, level on 3-5 uh, if you're not taking really hard losses. Um, there was also a play where you would do like uh, level 7 all-in on 3-7 on or like 4-1. But I don't think that play is that good right now. It used to be a bit more popular in set 5.5 where you had the Stimmy, the Radiant Blessing at 40 HP. So probably don't do that, but like be aware of of it being a possibility. It's kind of a desperation play, but if you hit a two star four cost on three seven, cause like the whole pool is typically there for the picking. So you can grab whatever, whatever four cost you need. Uh, you can stabilize super hard and get maybe a top two, top three. And this kind of ties into uh, how you should be thinking about these games. Since uh, probably most of you are not master yet. So if you have 10 LP or less, you should always try to play for like top two, top three. So like if you if you have three LP on the line, it doesn't matter if you get a fifth, sixth, seventh, or an eighth. So maybe go for like a riskier uh, desperation play, like a level later, bleed a bit more, and then try to pop off in the late game. While if you're on uh, like 20 LP, you can decide what strategy you wanna use. If you're at zero LP, which means you could drop a division uh, then you definitely need to go for a top four or if you have 30 LP or more or if you're in if you're in master or above You should always be playing for a top four uh, And if you if you climb the whole new rank then you can't drop ever so like if you're if you're at 10 LP or, or less It really doesn't matter. Just try to get a top two kind of go for for the next division sooner Now what are strong boards on stage three? Um, I just wanted to mention like I can't show all the boards here because there's like well, not infinite amount of boards, but there's like probably tens and tens of boards. So I just want to mention, if you can, you should probably go go wide. So like if you have uh, the option to go for Arcanist, like we had Arcanist earlier on stage two, uh, you just continue playing for Arcanist. You can add in some some debonairs or something based on what you get, or or mutants. And you're playing Kyrie Brand or Kyrie Mazahar if you find him two star. Um, if you're playing bodyguards, 
so that's like Poppy Darius, Blitz Leona. You can add in some Assassin, Snipers, Twin Shots. You can add in a Senna or a Nar, possibly. You can even play Arcanist with Bodyguards. Obviously, if you're if you're playing Nar, then you should be playing Yordles with, with, with Poppy and Nar. So there's lots of options. And the key thing is, you want to have a two-star carry and a two-star tank, as I mentioned before. So if you find a two-star Nar, if you find a two-star Senna, even a, a two-star Lucian or Mazahar, like you want to use those those guys to carry. Uh, Nar and Senna are obviously AD. Lucian is mostly AP, but you can definitely play with AD items if you find him two-star. You can play Gangplank with AD items. Like the options are nearly limitless, but you just want to like go wide, meaning like for Bruiser, for for Hextech. Uh, with 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 uh, Bruiser, you just add backline like with with bodyguards. Uh, with Hextex, it's uh, also like mix and match, so you can play Rexai and Caitlyn. That way, uh, it it goes it goes well with uh, the Sejuani and the J4 for Striker and Bruiser, uh, and the Caitlyn even gives you Enforcer, which can be useful. You can play Corky with with Lucian. You can play some Assassins with with Nocturne. You can even use like the Swain and uh, Malzahar if you have a two-star Malzahar, but you have Bruiser, so then you have uh, like Bruisers and you have Hextax and you have Arcanist. Like you can mix and match based on whatever you two-star. Like the most important thing is if you find some two-star champion that it's frontline, you play him. If you find some sort of carry, uh, typically AP carries are a little bit better than AD carries because like if you get a spell off with Malzahar too, it doesn't matter if he doesn't have any items. Like the spell is just gonna do a lot of damage if you have decent frontline. So just keep that in mind. Typically, you want to go wide. And before we go to the next slide, I just want to mention Chemtech. Chemtech, you have five Chemtech. Uh, usually, you want to add a Bruiser because if you have more HP on your Chemtechs, uh, they heal for more and they're quite durable. So Bruisers are are the way to go. And uh, one more pro tip: uh, if you're like this is like a really like pro tip. If you're aware of this, like obviously, uh, I don't think this is super important, but try not to grief your 3 2 augment. So be aware of one off champions on 3 1. So if you're playing a random bruiser or a random bodyguard or a random scrap, um, right now, you're not going to be offered uh, useless augment unless they can get activated. So, for example, if you're playing Blitz, just a random Blitz, you might get offered bodyguard emblem or bodyguard heart you might get offered scrap emblem scrap heart and if you're playing a random bruiser then you can get offered uh, some sort of bruiser augment so just just be aware of that like maybe maybe play duplicate units or uh, try not to play units that are just not gonna fit in your comp and they're just gonna give you shitty augments but that's just something to think about if you have extra time if you're super aware of what's happening just make sure that uh, maybe like maybe if it's like not a win streak or a loss streak or anything important, your your board doesn't really matter that much for that one particular round on three one. Then you're more likely to get a more useful augment on three two. So just to go over what we discussed today, you should almost always roll a little bit on level six because you want to find uh, some two stars at least half of your board. If you have more than half your board, it's amazing. If you have less than half your board, it's probably going to be tough. Uh, you want to consider like setting up for your late game, which means you want to keep your key two-star two costs. So if you're going to be playing strikers, maybe you want to keep that Rek'Sai, right? If you're going to be playing Debonairs, uh, you want to, okay, that's uh, Leona's, but like you want to find your Syndra, for example. If you're playing Debonairs, you keep your Syndra uh, and stuff like that. So just like keep your two-star two costs, have them ready. And possibly, I didn't write this down, but possibly keep uh, one star, uh, two star, one cost, sorry, uh, or one star, one cost even, like if you have like an extra copy, like if you're gonna wanna play uh, Draven, for example, Camille's part of that comp. So maybe even keep at least one Camille, like either she's two star or one star on the bench so that uh, you can take her, her items off her, or you just sell her, cause it doesn't matter if, if she's two star later, but you wanna have Camille so that you can activate uh, all the synergies with or like the important synergies with with draven and with oriana for that uh, clockwork and challenger and again disclaimer mid game boards are your mid game boards so yes you want to keep some of your two star two costs maybe some of the two star three costs as well if you can but these are just your mid game boards so if you if you have a like camp board 
with Trindamir carry, two star. You can either go for three star Trindamir, we'll discuss that in the next video, or you can just pivot those items onto an Irelia, Sivir, or Draven later. So keep that in mind. Mid game is just a mid game. If you spent 10, 20 gold rolling, it, it doesn't matter. You can just uh, scrap the whole board and go for a different, stronger board next stage, which we shall discuss in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, link to my Discord under the video if you're interested in coaching or if you want some additional resources. And please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Thank you for stopping by. Path of Gaming, out.